So some quilling pieces have an edge put on them and you fill them inside with quilling papers. Um, and some you do an edge and then you fill around the outside and leave the inner section empty. But also you can use quilling papers to uh, make pictures without the edging, like so. But I want to show you with this tutorial how to do um, some quilling where you make an edge and you fill the inside of it. So the first thing I've done is sketched myself half of a butterfly and I've used a nice soft 2B pencil for that so that I can make an image on this side so that it's exactly symmetrical. So all you do is fold it over and then I'm just using the end of my quilling tool to just rub the lead so that it's the graphite so that it makes a mirror image of the butterfly like so okay so it's as simple as that okay then obviously this piece here it's not good enough for me to do my quilling onto i don't want all these pencil marks in the way so i've chosen the card that i'm going to transfer the butterfly onto always leave the card lying flat before you fold it otherwise when you try and stick your quilling on it will be jumping about all over the place so just pop that into position and try and get it as much in the middle as you possibly can and then go round it with your awl so that it leaves an indentation on the card underneath. And I'll keep doing that and then show you the results. Okay, so I've been all the way round and that's the result. I've got the indentation. So the next job is to outline the butterfly with some white, thicker quilling paper. Now the handy thing about when you buy a bunch of quilling papers is they quite often have a stronger quilling paper on either side to hold them all together. So I'm using those to make the outline of my butterfly. I've cut these to size so that they're ready to go on. I'm just going to just bend them a little bit so that they're not fighting me with where I want them to be. It's helpful if you get them into a thereabouts um, shape before you start. Then they won't be fighting you. Then you're trying to lay them into position. Okay, and then this is where the cocktail stick comes into its own. So grab yourself some, just move my camera up a little bit. Grab yourself some white glue and a cocktail stick. And you're just going to put the glue on the one side, one edge of the paper or card that you're using to edge it with. And it's really easy to do with a cocktail stick. And avoid where you can getting it on your fingers. Just adding it to the paper, like so. And I like to leave it just for a minute so that it goes a bit tacky. If you try and stick it down straight away, it doesn't always uh, hold its place. And this is where the tweezers come in really useful because you can use the tweezers without it sticking to your fingers. So place it on the indentation and slowly maneuver it into position. It's a little bit longer than I needed it to be, so. Remember your line is just a guide. You are, I need more of a fold at the top here to keep it in place. And it's helpful if you've got something bend it round 
and it does just require a little bit of patience to get it into position and hold it there for a little minute while it just really takes hold. And I'm going to work my way around the butterfly doing just that and I'll come back to you when they're all attached. Okay, so there it is attached. Um, it takes a little bit of perseverance. It's worth getting one end attached and working your way around. Try and avoid getting glue on the card, but as it dries clear, it won't do any harm. And then the fun begins. So you choose your colours that you're going to fill. And because it's a butterfly, you want it to be symmetrical. So once you've done one side, you do the other. So I've chosen... Um, I'm using three mil, I think, papers here. They're very tiny. And I'm going to just put some orange in the top of each wing. I'm going to start by doing um, a tightish coil that's using a full length. So I'm going to let it go a little bit, but not too much. And I'm going to pop a bit of glue with my cocktail stick on the end. And then just hold it in my hand while it um, takes the glue time to stick. And I'm going to do one exactly the same as that with exactly the same length because I want them to be the same on both sides. To hold it into position, bring it round and yeah I've got two, one for each side. It's a nice tight curl. And then you just continue to keep building it up just like that. So I'm going to just do some looser curls because I'm not going to fill it completely tightly with little ones. So I'm just going to grab a purple. And I'm going to do a big spirally one that is open out. So as you can see now, I've started building it up with some spirals and the colours on both sides. But I'm also going to use some shorter pieces of colours and sit them in so that there are stripes on the wings of the butterfly and start have some more spirals underneath and then some more stripes underneath. And that you just apply the stripes in the same way that we did the edging, adding the glue to one side and then placing it into position. Obviously I'm going to start gluing these down now so that I can get them so that they stay where I want them to and then I'll show you the finished piece when it's done. But have fun making your own shape, so perhaps not a butterfly, you might do something else, a heart, um, any leaf or any shape like that that you think would look good with quilling inside it.